Hey, oh, hey, oh, no, everyone. <laughs> Sorry for late delay, uh, three second delay. Thought the recording wasn't going. <laughs> Anyways, hey, oh, everyone. Nets and the Dot Hacker here with part 14 of Beyond the Day Simulator. Now, you may be wondering why am I recording by myself? Or rather, commenting by myself? Well, okay, before I get into that, first of all, post commentary. I am actually really tired of live commentary because, you know, double audio pickup and all that bullshit. So, um, I got too lazy to message any of my friends to say, hey, do you want to join me for the commentary every Andre Sim? It, not that they didn't want to join me, but I was just too lazy to message them. So I'm just recording on my own. Anyways, um, this is of the November 1st update. As far as I know, there's been another update before that on Halloween, and um, so far, what we what you saw right now was I I took out her iPhone and I showed that um that there was a manga on the ground back on back of the school. Now, what that does is um it actually raises your um, erotic points or your sub your subdu subduction points, meaning, um, if you read the manga, basically, um, you, you'll be able to, um, seduce a lot of students, mostly the male students, as seen right here, um, you know, you raise your subduction points so, um, you can basically do what you want. Now, the benefit of getting a um seduction points is that um you can have the students do whatever you want because you know you're seducing them if you were able to go to level i believe it was five then you could seduce the female students but for the first four levels it's only male and um with the seduction points you don't have to befriend them you could just read the manga and you can pretty much ask them to do what you want to do you know, you could kidnap them by having them follow you somewhere. They could follow them in jet. They could follow you in general. You know, all that good crap. Wait, did I just say you could follow them? I meant they can follow you to wherever you want. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Oh yeah, by the way, there are a lot of jumps because um, my screen, as some of you may know, some my screen is um cracked. <laughs> so um. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't able to um, wasn't able to uh keep up a good straight 18 minutes of recording because my screen would, tur would turn white sometimes. So what I, I would have to stop the recording, close my computer screen, open it back up. Um, so that was the November 1st update. Now the Halloween update, as far as I know, he actually in Meander Dead rather actually uh implemented video games. And it is not a ripoff of Castlevania, it's a completely original game, and the font is not ripped out of Straight Outta God of War, as far as I've known. But the font is ripped off from there. It, it just reminds me of God of War. Anyways, it's not ripped off from there, you know. <laughs> I mean, you'll see it in a bit. But yeah, I think that's all that there was pretty much for, um, for the update. I mean, again, it's not really too impressive. I mean, again, you guys, uh, again, I'm just, I don't know if I told you that this, told this to you guys or not, but um, I don't, I usually don't, don't play around in Yonder Sim anymore. At first, I was only showing the basic controls and the basics that you can do, but now I'm just like only updating or uploading videos rather to show that um, to show what updates Yonder Dev has. I'll do an LP of this game when it actually fully releases. Oh yeah, by the way, you can't read the same manga over and over again because it's cheating. <laughs> I don't know if there's other manga or not, I could be wrong, I could be right, I don't know. But um, one manga at a time and you can't read the same shit. So right here I'm just like, okay. Oh yeah, that's right, there's many, there's games. So here's the game, Yanvania Senpai of the Night. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know what Castlevania game that rips off, but hey, if you guys could leave in the comments below what game it is, I think it was um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I think. Could be wrong. But uh, if that is, then. Um, 
then I'm tell then tell me guys I was right or not. Okay, what was I doing again? All oh, right, <laughs> sorry, I'm just messaging friends. This is like the worst commentary I've done. I haven't done a solo commentary for like a while now. Oh, by the way, don't mind the noise in the background. That's just cars going by. <laughs> but but yeah, see, look, the layout for the uh, whole um, mini game in a game <laughs> kind of it, it reminds me a lot of God of War. I don't know why. I mean, I'm pretty sure this font's been used, but even before God of War was made. But like, I don't know. I, it just reminds me of God of War for some reason. But anyways, yeah, Yamvaniac, Senpai of the Night, and I think the rest of this recording was just me, uh, just me playing, and so much failure. Uh, I suck. I, I kid you not, guys. I was actually uh, sucking really badly. It's like horrible. But I do, I do win eventually. I do win. So I hope you enjoyed the mini game of Castlevania. Senpai of the night. Oh look, I made it to the final stage. I'm so MLG I actually made it to the final stage. Fuck the first whatever stages there are. Oh look at that zombie die. Didn't even do anything yet. See, I can't take her stats. They look so stupid. <laughs> I am sorry. Her, she, it's like, I know she's trying to be serious, but she's like, ugh, 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 yeah, I'm the top bitch. And you can see right there, I'm getting wrecked. Look at that, I was running in place. I can't believe I'm noticing all my flaws before or after. You know what? I, I'm actually getting bored <laughs> um, recording with myself. I'm gonna see if I could message um, Fox. Mind you guys, he doesn't want to be called Fox for some reason because he's been playing Tales of Asteria and he wants to call Meleko from. or Meiko, I can't even pronounce the name, from Tales of Asteria. <laughs> uh, here, let me message him real quick. Alright, message him, and hopefully he will pick up. So he does. Wait, no, wait, I don't want to open Edisu. Oh, my mistake. Sorry, guys. Ah, crap, I can't even see what I'm doing now. Yeah, uh, hold on, I'm gonna stop the recording really quick. And I'm back, sorry for that quick stop. I, I, the video froze on me for, for some reason. I mean, it was still recording for you guys to see, but like, I couldn't see shit, so I couldn't commentate on it. And let's see, Fox was able to get online. He messaged me, yeah, okay. Reminds me of Pascal from Kills of Graces. By the way, Pascal's like, best girl. Just, just saying. Pascal's like, awesome. There he is. Yes. Oh yeah, I'm already recording, Fox. I'm like eight minutes into recording. I just decided to call you. Oh motherfucker. I mean, I I said in the commentary I don't feel like calling because I got lazy, and then like seven minutes in, I'm just like, oh wait, I I I feel lonely now. I need to call someone. Die, monster! You don't belong in this school. Any deals here? Don't worry. It was not by my head. Anyways, Fox has a new nickname. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, what's so fun about using my name? Why not go with the water Sarah? Mika Leo. Oh, that's how you pronounce it? I, I think I butchered the name. I said my Leiko. <laughs> or Miko. I can't. I just go with what Edna calls on Mebo. Oh, uh, okay. So wait, how do you pronounce it again? Maleko? Uh, Mikleo. Mikleo? A miserable little what the fuck? Okay, and how do you pronounce Sori's name? Like that? Sorry or is it sorry? Uh Sorry. Sorry. What up with all the names in fucking Zesteria? The normal one I know is Uh that one Lila. bitch. Li well, yeah, Lila has a normal name, I guess. Everyone has everyone I'm has not, weird card I'm names. Not sorry about the game. I think no one is. So, I think the game was even again today. 
Switch yet. My replacement Super Nintendo. Oh, that's nice. And I got that. myself. Train plus three. And the Grand Theft Auto PS1 Cruncher. Cruncher pack. I oh, know, I saw uh, you plus it on Facebook. So now I have Grand Theft Auto 1. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that, uh, the, uh, murder eyes. That's my Grand Theft Auto uh, eyes right there. That's cool. Good game to see. I get to read it my childhood. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to screen share, uh, screen share with you so you can see what's going on. Uh, can you see? Yeah, I can see. You can tell what this game is ripping off. You are Castlevania right there. They did. You want to know what this game, this mini game, is called? What? Yanvania, Senpai of the Night. Ah. You know what? She actually pretty much says that. Oh god damn it! <laughs> oh yeah. So as you guys see, I died because I, I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, how do you even Castlevania? <laughs> Yay, nay. <laughs> I was tempted to press nay. Will Will Arth try again? Nay. It, it is kind of fun, but I was, I'm so MLG, apparently when I booted up the game, I was in the final stage. I'm like, oh, I didn't even have to play the first whatever stages there were. And for some reason, I was forced to join it. You re-recorded? Uh, yeah, I've already done the first part of the first game. The last first night. You only recorded part one of the first game? Yeah, it's, uh, the thing I record with for my Nintendo uh, thing, it makes the game run at half speed, so it's kind of, so it's kind of uh, annoying. Although it helps me with some boss battles, like, uh, death. Uh, I, I, I don't know much about Castlevania, I've never really like, played it, but I really should. Oh, I'm gonna teach you a lot. Wasn't it made by the same people who made NGS fucking Konami without a Kojima? Yeah. Uh. This, uh. I think he's the one named Higurashi or whatever. He's creating, uh. What's his name? Ritual of the Night. Oh, wow. Uh, at least it's not what, called Sen. At least it's not called Senpai of the Night. You know what, you guys? I don't even. I think the bar on the bottom is the level up system, so I think I'm level grinding to level 10. I don't know. I'm just gonna assume it is. But like I said, blocks you'll see in a bit were um, Maleko. Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Mikleo. I'm just gonna say like Halo. <laughs> I need to try to remember that. I need to play as a serious so I can remember this shit. That shit happened to me. <laughs> that shit happened to me when I had to pronounce um. Music. I, I keep on saying, um, stupid bitch. Because <laughs> I, 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 no, at first I said, um, um, Muse. no, Muse, eh, Muse yet. And then people also kept saying Muse, and then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna call her stupid oh, bitch. Oh, come on! I, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, I just noticed that Bella there, Chan. Oh my god, no, you, you don't, you don't do that. Ah, uh, you know what, dude? Look at that. Oh my god. How about you? Oh my god. What? what yeah, look at that. Look at that. I'm not even. I'm moving the controls and she's like sliding across the floor. Okay, so she's supposed to be like your Belmont. I guess so. It ain't Richter without the headband. But she has a school uniform. Hey! Close enough. So, ever since I. I got home like four hours ago. I just been like Dragon Quest nonstop. That's cool. Oh, hold on. And we're back again. This game, this video is brought to you by Grand Theft Auto and Chevy's. And I'm making a new PSN called Sonic the Hedgehog because apparently no one from the time PlayStation Network was made to now has made a PSN called Sonic the Hedgehog. 
So I'm gonna do that right now. Also, also Neptune the Dot Hacker and Minkleo do not advise the condonance of popping caps in people's asses. I don't give a shit. I honestly don't. Got it. Good friends. When you first grant the thought of the uh, gun mechanics are just it's wonky. Also, your handgun has a hundred bullets. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot we're recording. <laughs> Oops. And also. My internet's doing the thing again. What? My internet's doing the wonky thing again. What's wrong with your internet, dude? I have the best internet, though. Mm. Alright, uh, let's see if I can use this game. I'm gonna use my- I'm gonna use my literal, um, business Gmail. Oh yeah, as you guys can see, I am. Um, I, I don't know how many tries it's taken, but um, I finally defeat ripoff version of uh, Belmont, I guess. Who's that supposed to be again? Michael. Fox. I'm not gonna call you Michael unless you say something. That teaches magical arts to young right, read the text, please. My, uh, I can't hear a thing you're saying. This call is fucking up. Are you fucking serious? Alright, hold on. The yeah, Academic Institute is a boarding school that teaches that teaches magical arts to young men and women who have high potential for the witchcraft and wizardry. Once every hundred years, under the glare of a full moon, the ghost of a long dead succubus will appear within the institute and beg one of the institute's upperclassmen to resurrect her with a tribute of blood. If the succubus is resurrected, all the school's students will vanish, except for any student who were in love. With the other classmen that if will that resurrect the succubus. If the succubus is not slain before the sunrise, the school students will be forever lost, and the succubus' power will be restored. The succubus can all can only be slain by a young woman who is in love with the upper classmen that are by the succubus. The time has once again come for the forces of love and lust to engage in their ancient battle. The institute beckons you, and no man can say who shall emerge victorious. I've been Nets in the Dot Hacker. Hope you all enjoyed and have a good night. <laughs> Did you want to say something? Anyways, I <laughs> uh, hope you all enjoyed. Look out for part 15 soon ish. Anyways, Neptune, the dot hacker, out.